let's understand what exactly is imported inflation as the name itself says imported inflation is inflation which is import imported from outside the country into a domestic territory let's say in this case india so uh, uh, let's take an example to understand what is imported inflation let's say uh, we have certain uh, imports which are necessary in nature for example we import a lot of oil now if we are importing let's say uh, $100 worth of oil and the exchange rate is $1 is equal to 50 rupees so the exchange rate is this and in this case we are going to be paying 5000 rupees in order to convert it into dollars and to uh, import oil uh, worth rupees uh, worth $100 now if uh, let's say the rupee depreciates and if the rupee depreciates this exchange rate let's say changes to $1 is equal to 60 rupees so in order to buy the same amount of oil because in the international market we are going to exchange it for dollars only we will be paying 6000 rupees in order to import the same amount of oil let's say 1 liter instead of paying 5000 we end up paying 6000 rupees and therefore our cost our cost of import goes up cost of import which can also be our raw material for this uh, uh, you know for our manufacturing facility which can be raw material for refining it can be anything the simple thing here to understand is that the cost of oil or the price of oil for us for the importer country has gone up this is called as imported inflation and also sometimes called as cost inflation because it results in an increase in cost for the importing nation or for the manufacturing or various other enterprises using that import using that particular commodity in order to create more commodities okay so this is imported inflation now this happens all the time in india happened in 1991 as well when we had the financial crisis when the prices of crude went up instantly and immediately and therefore india uh, uh, you know dived into a crisis so this is about imported inflation uh, this all is explained here impact on Indian economy due to fall of rupee uh, it has a direct impact on current account deficit because current account deficit is calculated by uh, comparing exports the value of exports and the uh, price of exports total amount earned through exports and the total amount spent through imports so current account deficit certainly would go up why because the cost of imports or the overall prices overall value spent on imports has gone up okay what are the reasons that output prices are not increasing with the increase in imported inflation now this is an interesting scenario which is happening in india because although the prices of imports are going up the prices of output prices uh, which the consumer is finally paying and which is measured through inflation if you have uh, understood it so it is measured through inflation is not going up simultaneously and the reason direct reason for that is demand because the consumers are not demanding much the demand in the economy is not that much anymore so the manufacturer even if, if he increases prices he knows that he cannot sell and therefore he has to keep the prices at the same level or increase it only marginally whereas his cost of goods or his cost of imports or his cost of raw materials is still going up constantly so the result final result is that the profit margin of the manufacturer starts going down however in order to maintain the sale that he has had in the past he uh, uh, you know decides to keep the prices at the same level no matter what his import costs are so this was about import inflation imported inflation i hope you understood it it's a very conceptual thing uh, they can ask you about uh, the concepts or the under uh, you know basic understanding of imported inflation and uh, uh, you know these kinds of conceptual questions have always be been asked by rbi spe especially one markers and therefore they hold a lot of importance so this was all about this particular lesson please wait for the next lesson where i will be talking about some other concepts as well